Welcome back to Facts with your host Caroline and Jasmine. I look white as fuck. <laughs> I am white as fuck, but like, it's giving Miley Cyrus 2007. Miley Cyrus. Hi, I have blue eyes. Can you see? Anyways, have you seen okay. Game of Thrones? Yeah. Yeah, those uh, like ice people. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> Today, we're doing another conspiracy theory uh, video because they're fun to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and instead of doing a deep dive into one, which I think we should do though, mm -hmm. could be funny. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just talk about some conspiracy theories and I'm going to try to convince you. Okay. Love about them. Lovely. And they range in like believability, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Okay. The first one is the Gillette Shave Foam. Um, is that, you know, Gillette. Yeah. Yeah. So the conspiracy theory is that they purposely overpressure the cans mm -hmm. to release too much foam when you use it, mm -hmm. which therefore leads you to running out quicker mm -hmm. and then having bug more bottles. Mm -hmm. I fully believe this one. Listen, like I, that, I, yes. That to me, yes. we studied marketing. Yeah. Like, oh, yes, is, for sure. I agree. Can be. So no no conv no need for no, convincing. Uh -uh. This next one, I don't think I need to convince you of either. Um, but this is about lead gasoline. So in the 70s and still today, gas with lead in it is was and is still quite big. Um, and that this is the reason why boomers, why there were so many serial killers in the 70s and 80s, mm -hmm. and why boomers are so aggressive and angry. Mm -hmm. is because there was lead everywhere. There was lead in the air because they were using it for gas. So they were just, po like, they had lead poisoning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a conspiracy theory, but I think this makes sense in my head. Listen, I truly think there's some, like, yes, probably. All right. This next one is a little more out there. <laughs> We're going quicker than we thought. <laughs> we are. Uh, so this is a Titanic conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. which is the Titanic that sank was not the real Titanic, but instead was a boat called the Olympic, um, which they had rebranded to become the Titanic. Mm -hmm. And the reason they did this is that the company that owned the Titanic and the Olympic was the same company. And the Olympic had collided with another boat a few months before mm -hmm. um, and had therefore received a bunch of damages. Um, but not bad enough that it still didn't work, but it definitely needed to be fixed. Uh, but this would be expensive. So instead, in order to not have to repair the Olympic, they rebranded it to be the Titanic and then sunk it on purpose. Oh. Uh, because this way they could get the insurance payout for the Titanic sinking and not have to pay to fix the damages for the Olympic. Uh-huh. Huh. I mean, the thing is that I'm pretty sure that there can be something behind it. Yeah. Because whenever I'm thinking of the Titanic situation, they were always saying, you know, you know like the strongest... Uh, the biggest, the fastest, whatever. 1,500 people died exactly. on the Titanic. Um, and then there's the whole lifeboat situation, that the lifeboats were only half filled up. Yes, yes. And to me, none of it just like, the whole Titanic thing, none of it really makes sense. No, for me either. Because also with the whole iceberg thing, I just feel like, wouldn't you be able to spot an iceberg way before like a huge iceberg yeah like an iceberg that could do that much damage to a big ass boat yeah i feel like you'd be able to spot bef like yeah the whole titanic for me is weird also mm -hmm. I, but i always felt weird about it uh because okay it crashes just theor theoretically crashes into the iceberg yes it got damages but oh, yes, the boats, they were half the full, there was not enough boats. So how can it actually go without having enough safety boats? Mm -hmm. But then there was the whole explanation of like, 
mm, the guy who wanted the boat didn't want it to be crowded and stuff. He wanted it to be luxurious and pretty. I mean, this was when did it say like twelve, like nineteen twelve or something? Nineteen twelve. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It just to me also the way it breaks. Yes. Yes. It just seems a little inconsistent with being hit by an iceberg. And I know there's a lot of explanations. Because you know what's also funny is that they like had given up on trying to find the Titanic, right? But then apparently a like research team who had been allocated to go research something else found it quite mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. So that's again the whole situation where it's like, well, why, why wouldn't they want to find like... Yeah. It's the same when they say that they don't want to discover more parts of the ocean. Why? That's why NASA exists. NASA yes. used to like be an ocean explorer thing. We've only explored five percent of our ocean, and they don't. Want I don't want to know what the fuck else is down there, though. Like, no. I don't need to know. Have you ever seen some of the weird shits they find? There's a guy in TikTok. Um. Oh my god, I don't know his name. But he is always posting videos about sharks. Oh and yeah, stuff. yeah. And there was this like huge ass shark, like like big ass shark, and they were saying that it was coming from South America to Europe. Oh, and the tracker shark, the yes, where he tracked yes. it, and he said it's weird because it said it had traveled, but then he had like updated the app, and then it hadn't traveled, and it was like it hadn't gone up to resurface yes. and things like that. Yes. Yeah, no, listen, the ocean is fucking scary. Uh, people who like boat out in the middle of like the North Pacific, why? <laughs> what do you need out there? Yeah. Also, remember that TikTok we saw yesterday with that big ass bass, the uh, catfish. Mm hmm. The like, ooh. Yeah. Also, have you seen some of the like tunas they catch? <clears throat> Them shits are scary. There was also one um, video I think that we could you know like a long time ago it was trending on TikTok when from really from above from a helicopter they were filming again like a huge shark which was like ten meter long. Mm. Because of yeah. the surfaces next to they, could they had also found them. like whales where they're like there's no like which had like damages on it mm -hmm. where they're like there's no way that can come from an animal that we are currently aware of exactly and then there's the whole like the giant squid mm -hmm. oh like there I've oh listen I love it I love a good deep dive into Discovery Channel with like. Oof. Things you can. I don't see need to know what sea. we have in the ocean. We're good. Like I am good. <laughs> have you? Do you know what a sunfish is? Yeah. Yes. I, I don't know. care if they can't hurt you. Why do they look like that? <laughs> I know. Anyway, back to topic. Titanic. Do you believe that the Titanic was like organized to sink? The the thing is that I believe that everything is organized. Like, okay, this is gonna be real easy. The next one, like I'm, you can convince me anything. First of all, <laughs> but second of all, a lot of things. I'm pretty sure they were organized and everybody knew about it. Like a big circle of governments mm -hmm. and stuff. Like I'm pretty sure. This next one is one of my favorite types of conspiracy theories, which is a 9/11. Oh yes, I live for 9/11 conspiracy theories. There are so many good like points mm -hmm. so but this is a little different from the whole like it was an inside job this is still that it's an inside job but there are two different um theories here mm -hmm. one is that president bush mm -hmm. liked to drink and wanted a drink of the week okay <laughs> for a second i could not function what the fuck <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I feel like that was a pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. I just froze down because yeah. I could not understand it. The drink of the week is gimlet, which we were joking Sounds about. Oh, who, the, who the hell orders a gimlet? Me and the girl just ordering around a gimlet. Anyway, gimlet, it's a drink with gin and sweetened lime juice, and that's all. That's all you need. Basically, it's, nothing else. It's basically a lime martini. Yeah, with gin. Exactly. But uh, it's 
obviously the history back to Gimlet is isn't clear just like every other cocktail but it's believed that it was invented because it was uh, necessarily for the British sailors for to have something uh, that was um, protecting them from a disease called scurvy and it's basically like seasickness but extreme yeah, yeah. So back in the 1800s, the 18th century, they were drinking gin um, for helping with the seasickness and what's the best way to get the people drink some lemon juice. Also because the lemon juice was full of vitamins and it was also helping them to... Lime. Oh, lime, sorry, yes. Um, the lime juice was um, helping with the scurvy as well. So what's the best way? Just combine some gin, which was already helping, and some lime juice. What so I find funny know. about that is if I was feeling seasickness, the last thing I would want to drink was gin. I like, I never... Gin makes me seasick on land. I was about to, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know how they, like, I never been seasick, like, oh, really, I have really been seasick, seasick one once before. We have always had a boat in my family, we've always sailed a lot. And there was this one time it was very bad weather, mm. and I was fighting for my life, bitch. Mm. I thought I was gonna die because, like, I don't know, for me, alcohol is the like last thing I would want to try, but you know what? Maybe that would just calm me down, so anyway. Uh, it can also be made with vodka, but gin is the original thing. Plus, if you make it with vodka, it's just vodka lime, so it's like... But this is like gin lime, it's not... <laughs> but yeah, you can try it and you can read also more about gin uh, in our website, which is thefexpc.com. And you can also get a recipe in our Instagram at fexpc in the recipe highlights. And enjoy, make it and drink it. Now convince me about something. <laughs> All right. 9-11 conspiracy theory. So yes. this is again, it was an inside job, but not that it was an inside job. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you some background here though, quick. The reason mm -hmm. why a lot of people think it was an inside job is based on how um, it was President Bush, right? Yes, it was how he was reacting. To yeah, it. I was yeah. just making sure I'm talking about the right president. Mm -hmm. uh, but that President Bush, he was reading a book to a kindergarten class. When it happened, the Secret Service told him and he had no reaction. Um, this is one of the major points mm -hmm. as to why they think this was an inside job. But a lot of people think that these conspiracy theories is that it's like Bush like wanted to you know kill mm -hmm. like it was but these two ones i find actually quite good so the one is that the u.s government had all the information to predict an attack but they hadn't like put it all together yet mm -hmm. so they couldn't act on it which they would never admit to because it would make the u.s government look weak mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the other one is that the U.S. government knew enough and could have stopped it, but chose not to so that they could create a reason to go to war. Oh. So there are the two here I find quite interesting because the first one, to me, sounds a lot more realistic with the whole, like, they could kind of tell, but didn't have enough information. And if they were to admit that, it would make them look stupid, mm -hmm. which... As we know, Americans, funnily enough, they don't want to seem stupid, yet they keep making TV. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Um, they would never, the US government would never want to seem like they didn't know what was happening. No, they would never admit that they made a, made a uh, what's it called? A mistake. mistake. No. No, they would never admit that. But on the other hand, the second one, the US loves a good war. Uh, yes, we, and, and we also, we all know from history, we're, you know, the, pretty sure that all the invasions that the U.S. have done in the Middle East is due to oil. For them, it's democracy, but they pulled out of Afghanistan and the Taliban took over and they're not helping. No. Um, also, also, we were also talked about it uh, back in an episode when the U.S. has been in war more than it was actually mm -hmm. a country. Yeah. 
which you know i am truly believe like i can truly imagine their military so budget is fucking crazy the u.s has military bases everywhere they have a huge one in germany yeah and for what what is the reason the thing is i can truly imagine <clears throat> sorry i can truly imagine that this was something there was something behind it for sure um just as you said how president bush was reacting he had no reaction he was like okay but do you think that it has more to do with the government not knowing what to do or do you think the other theory that the government did it do you think the government Ooh. actually had anything to do with it like do you mm -hmm. think they sent it or do you just think they knew about it i think maybe the first one because that I'm they not... sent them no that they didn't that they that, that they, they knew they... but didn't know what to do yeah because i would say that maybe they would not to me, that's a lot the of one people that makes died. More sense. A lot of people died. But the, you know what's the worst thing is, and first of all, rest in peace to all those Everyone. you know yeah. affected by it, and still are affected by it today. I believe it was like something about three thousand people died. I think so. How many people do you think that the U.S. government has killed in the wars since yeah. this? So much more. So much more. I think they're up on like two million people. Yeah. Um, and if we really have to talk about 9-11, and we should, because it is obviously a horrible, 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 uh, thing. Uh, but if we do take the U.S. and their gun laws, for example, more people have died from gun from being shot accidentally or by the police in the last five years than, than from 9-11. Yeah. Um, so if they're going to keep milking 9-11, and it is a tragedy... But then maybe, you know, consider not wanting to kill children when they're in middle school. Yes. You know, let's consider that instead of invading other countries for their, you know, lack of resources or lack of democracy, let's also talk about how Trump won the presidency even though he didn't get the majority vote. That's not democracy either, bitch. No. That's not how that shit works. We could do a whole series on things just that shit. just makes sense. Because the thing <laughs> is, again, the amount of children yeah. that die each day in America. Uh, we very sadly in Denmark had a shooting at a, a shopping mall where, can't remember, I think like... Two 17 years old, I think, and one 40 year old yeah. died. Yeah, three people died, which is horrible, and may they rest in peace. But a lot of American politicians were taking this and using it as a... Denmark has the safest like gun laws, and they still have a shooting. So gun laws don't work. We have had two mass shootings in 30 years. America had two, had a mass shooting the day after, which again, rest in peace to the victims. But y'all have mass shootings every fucking day. We ain't never had a shooting at a school, bitch. No. There was also one um, teacher on TikTok who was also explaining from America, who was like, that is so crazy that in Europe, teachers and the schools doesn't have an evacuation plan and like how to, they don't teach their kids with guns. And European people were like, which again, European people, that's another whole American thing. But people from Europe, they were like, we don't have to prepare things we don't yeah. have. I remember that. There was, it was an American teacher saying that she thought it was so weird and that uh, it was so, like it was a lack of respect towards the parents and she wouldn't feel safe. Yes. And then there was one teacher... Uh, who I think a German teacher who was like, well, I we don't feel safe in America, so that's one thing. We don't need to worry about someone coming in and shooting our school because that has never happened and it won't happen. Exactly. Like the fuck, bitch. Americans are so Amer like cause the, I can't even Americans. Why? <laughs> well, anyways, this is besides the point. Uh. Yeah, I truly believe that there was um, they they wouldn't first of all they would never admit that they had a, they made a mistake. No. 
they would look weak, they would look dumb, and they would never admit that. Which again is so funny to me that they're so them. scared of looking dumb because then why do you act like that? Mm, well. So yeah, I believe that they knew something about it. Maybe that's why also President Bush wasn't reacting. Cause yeah, he, he was probably like, oh, it happened. Yeah. So it was in New York. Yeah. Was, yeah. I don't think they did it, but I do think they know. Yeah. Because I also heard a lot of um, conspiracy theories about this, that a lot of people got calls the day before and not, don't go to work or something. Yeah. There are a lot. Like, listen, there are a lot of these kind of like details about it that fit different conspiracy Just theories. makes no sense. Let's, again, I can do a whole deep dive into this. If anybody wants to like, wants me to do this, I will gladly do a yeah. deep dive into the 9-11 conspiracy theories. <laughs> um, let's talk about chemtrails. Do you know what chemtrails are? Uh, those camps where the parents send the kids when they're playing bad? No, those are forest camps. What's it called? That's wilderness. Wilderness. Um, oh, then no, there, I don't know. No. So chemtrails, however, that was very cute. <laughs> uh, you know how sometimes when you see an airplane go by, they leave those like white lines? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. So, um, any logical person will mm -hmm. realize that that is water condensation. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. However, <laughs> the beautiful thing about the internet <laughs> is that people believe these to be chemtrails. Mm -hmm. People think that these are chemicals being let out by the government on these planes that contain... I mean, and this is where the theories are different. Some believe it's a chemical that will, like, subdue humans mm -hmm. so that we're stupider. Mm -hmm. Stupider is not a word. <laughs> that we're dumber mm -hmm. than we actually are, that we will never reach, like, our full brain capacity. Mm -hmm. Others think it's chemicals to, like, kill crops so that they can keep, you know, inflation and shit on their terms. Mm -hmm. Other people think it's chemicals to kill animals. Other people think it's chemical. Like, there's a lot of these things, right? That it's like, basically people think it's chemicals that's there to control us. Mm -hmm. And I fuck with this theory so much because somebody, somebody has been outside on like a nice warm day <laughs> looking up and then seeing these things. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know what that is. So it must be chemicals. Yeah. Like, they really were like, no, I don't, since I don't know what it is, it must be something bad. But that's how human works. But, I mean, you know, I'm going to try to convince you that this is uh, true. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know how humans only use, like, 10% of their brains? Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is why. It's because of the chemtrails that are mm. keeping us stupid. And you know, they inflation keeps rising and crops are shit. I mean, if we take right now, why is there a shortage of grain? That is all we grow in this godforsaken country is fucking grain. You know why? Right? Mm -hmm. So why why do we not have enough wheat? Mm. Because why are we feeding it to the animals who we kill for food? Like maybe then let's stop like eating animals for food mm -hmm. and then use the grain to keep the food cheaper. Mm -hmm. basically the, the chemtrails are the vegans trying to get everybody to turn vegan that's what's happening <laughs> uh listen i would also like to say we will be doing also a special conspiracy theory episode at some point about celebrity deaths oh that's a girl. good one some of the that's ones i found one. yes ah, people gotta be fucked up that's anyways chemtrails one. Listen, uh, I don't believe I that. I get it. Like, I get... I get the thought process. Yeah, yes, but, I get it. you know, it is also just about maybe, you know, graduating middle school. Mm. <laughs> no offense that. to the There's chemtrail that. community. There's that, yeah. Um, but, and, but if you're laying outside looking at chemtrails, you could listen to music. Yeah, when you have your Gimlet mm -hmm. <laughs> song of the week, uh, Navajo by Masego. And let me just preface this by saying this is one of my favorite songs. I think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Masego is a 29-year-old American musician and singer who is very well known for, like, funky vibes. Mm -hmm. 
he, oh, that was like a weird breath. Um, <laughs> he released two EPs in 2016, but didn't gain widespread attention until his collaborative record with FKJ in 2017. A year later, he released his debut album, and his music is a combination of like R&B, funk, jazz, and often incorporates a saxophone. Mm -hmm. And Navajo is a beautiful song that was released in 2017 and is a story okay. uh, about his ex-girlfriend who he met in college. She was a Native American woman, and according to the song, when they first met, she had very strong morals and was very rooted in her culture. Um, but as they went through college, she changed and stopped being the girl that he met. Uh -huh. The song has kind of like a jazzy vibe, and it samples the song Michelle by the Singers Unlimited, which the, it uses the background vocals, and it just, I mean, it's beautiful. Drake sampled the song on his Certified Lover Boy album. Uh, great, 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 great. Uh, well, I mean, technically he sampled the Michelle by the Singers, but yeah. Uh, my favorite lyric is, then I lost her, lost her to the world and the girls and imposters. Because mm. I think it kind of showcases the main message of the song, which is that the girl kind of got lost mm -hmm. behind, you know, the the world and how yeah. the world treated her. Mm -hmm. If you want to listen to more Masego, you, uh, but don't have time to listen to everything, I would suggest Passport, Mystery Lady, and Wife Bowl. And you can listen to Navajo and my other recommendations on the playlist, Songs of the Week, which you can find on Spotify and on our Instagram at FactsBC and on our website, www.thefactsbc.com. Um, oh, I will point. say, though, one note is that Masego, I discovered in 2017 with the same group of singers as a guy named Topaz Jones. Mm -hmm. Which is very, like, funky and, like, good vibes. And I really love it. You love a good funky vibe? I love a good funky vibe. Like, the whole Silk Sonic thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my mm -hmm. shit. Like, that is my yeah, shit. That's a good one. Yeah. Anyways, back to the conspiracy theories. Um, One of the... One of the, also my favorite conspiracy theories, because to me it's not even really a conspiracy theory, is the uh, Illuminati slash mm. the New World Order, mm -hmm. which is basically that the elite control the world's government and businesses. And I would just like to say, how is this a conspiracy theory when this is very much true? Yeah. Like, this isn't about proving that it's true. They prove it themselves. When one company has the monopoly on most other things, I mean, even if you take the designer handbag community... There's yes. one mother company that owns, like, Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton, all these things. Like, and if one guy owns all these, like, multi-billion, I don't know if it's billion, but, like, all these big corporations, obviously he has some influence in the economy. You take Jeff Bezos. Mm -hmm. Obviously he has some influence, and he probably owns a fuck ton of other shit we don't know. To me, this isn't a conspiracy theory. To me, this is just the Proving way it the works. Point. Yeah. And it's worked like this since forever. We had kings who controlled everything themselves. They then, like, to me, this isn't a conspiracy theory. To me, this is just basic knowledge. Mm. Fair enough. Because there's so many big businessmen we don't even know no. who are owning these things. Yeah. And they're just in the background, you know. Some do think, though, that the whole Illuminati slash New World Order thing is an anti-Semitic thing. Mm -hmm. Which I personally don't think it is. Um, it might be the whole Illuminati. It might be anti-Semitic, uh, putting it in names like this. But I do not think that the base theory of a few elite people controlling the world, I don't think that's off. Oh, that's pretty true. Yeah. I am like 100% on that. Nice. So. And then I have our aliens and UFOs. Does that count as conspiracy theory or is that like another true story section thing? I don't think that's I, that's not conspiracy theory anymore, I think. I wouldn't consider it conspiracy. I mean, there's the whole Area 51 thing that's definitely mm -hmm. a conspiracy theory. We talked about it the other episode. Yeah, yeah but I don't feel like be whether or not you believe in aliens or not, I don't feel like that's a conspiracy theory. No. I really was like I discussing think... it with myself on whether or not I should like... 
I think aliens and UFOs are more like the same thing if you believe in the, the things in the ocean, you know? Like the big shark and the big octopus um, and stuff. You know what, now that you put it like that, that's actually quite, you know what's fucking funny actually, now that you say that? Mm -hmm. A lot of people, if you like are diehard believer in like aliens or whatever, people will find you like fucking weird. Mm -hmm. But if you're a like oceanographer, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you're saying like if you you're believe. a marine biologist and you spend your whole life like trying to find things Mermaids. in the ocean, yeah. like yeah, exactly, exactly. No, I would, I would, I would, I would think that's the same thing. Oh my god, wait a minute! Is NASA just like alien believers? NASA? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're pretty. I'm, I'm Do they believe in aliens? Do they have stance on that? I mean, I can't really ask someone from NASA. But I would Does say that NASA believe in aliens. <laughs> we asked the NASA scientists, do aliens exist? Okay, the answer is extraterrestrial life has never been discovered, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That's like when okay, you're that's asking like, that's like saying, <laughs> That's like saying nothing. <laughs> well, they are discovering things in, this, in the um, universe for a reason. Like, I would say aliens are not conspiracy I would just like theories. to say, though, that I, w I would love to know what NASA, 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 what NASA saw in the ocean to make them be like, nope, we're going to look somewhere else. We're literally going to look for other planets instead of figuring out what's at the bottom of the ocean. And that's another thing. Why is NASA looking so desperately for another planet to live? What do I they know? I would love to know. Like, you know, if... If one day I would have a superpower that I can be invisible and I can go to these Oh my places. god, I would go not only to Area 51, I would go to the White House just because A, I would love to see what kind of food they eat there. <laughs> that's like one thing. You know what? I would just love to go through good. the papers and I want to see also the whole JFK, which is, mm. which is a celebrity death thing. But the whole JFK assassination? Yes. Bitch. Yes, also that. If you've I watched just, Umbrella just... Academy, you also know why this is especially interesting. Yeah. I would just love to know these things. You know, if I would just have one day in NASA. There's also the uh, time, uh, time Traveling. traveler uh, conspiracy theory. Here's actually mm -hmm. two, uh, which again, we can go, we can go through in a whole other... Thing. Our channel from now on is just gonna be a conspiracy theory and the deep dive channel. <laughs> I don't mind. No, I listen. I love these things, and it's my mom is a, always is she was always obsessed with these like Discovery Channel, uni our universe and galaxy and shit like that. Mm. But I'm more into like these crazy stuff. I'm tippy tappy typing for yeah, um, for ideas. <laughs> No, because the whole time travel thing actually just got me... I used to have a whole phase. I was obsessed with the whole time travel thing. There are so many theories, and a lot of these theories are also rooted in kind of like a... I can't even really explain it, but I want to say spirituality. Mm -hmm. But that's for another episode. Now I'm excited again, <laughs> which is a great feeling to have. For sure. Well, thank you for all the all the conspiracy theories for today you're welcome i am fully convinced that we are all controlled oh my god we can do the whole oh my god the simulation I know. I know. bitch <laughs> i love the sims also the simulation and also just the glitch in the glitch in the matrix Ma glitch in the matrix that's a simulation yeah. one yeah well that's for next time that's for next time thank you for listening today yeah that was lit yeah well, she's excited. That's nice. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.